Back at it again, early morning well test. What we got going on, Kel? That's the man right there. That's him right there, that's the man. Now you know I'm crazy. I'm gonna go about that half inch right there, that half inch, that half inch gap. Nah, that's about a, about a 316. Hey, I'd rather be safe than sorry. We used the pipe liner this morning. And uh, yeah, just waiting on the PC. Playing a weight game now. Sometimes when you come to these well booths, you don't know what to expect. You know, they, they have makeshift booths like this one you're looking at. As you can see, the wind is blowing like crazy. So what I've done, I know you looked at this coupon and said, well, I got a tape on each end. Take a guess. When the wind blow, of course you can't see the wind. So you never know, a draft might get in. Of course, this is the test. So you don't want to chance it when you start your route and all of a sudden some wind blow through the pipe. And look at that. Okay, yeah, see that wind right there? <laughs> but uh, yeah, wind blow through the pipe you got porosity. This is your test. QC may say, hey, I don't want you to touch that tag. And if you say that, that means you're stuck where you're at. So, little things like that, you gotta keep in mind. And that's what I do. Some people stuff it with scotch bright or whatever they can find, it's not flammable. But I use tape. I use uh, scotch bright as well, but you know, this morning I'm gonna use tape. Normally I would cover my entrance, but they don't have anything to cover it with. So, you gotta use whatever you got. That kid came, they told him that I went to the church and did the, 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 the ground plan. Okay. That's good. All right. Say so he was going to the truck to go get his ground plan. Okay, go. Hey! Oh, shit! Oh, we taking our chest, it's all good. They ain't gonna say shit. I doubt it, I mean, hey, if they can't hack it, they can get their jacket. If they can't hack it, they can get their jacket. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> you think you can do this to me? <laughs> Yeah, but it's all good. We're trying to get it going on. So what we got this morning, we're gonna have, this is the Schedule 80. We got two, two inch Schedule 80. This is gonna be the combo. We're gonna take the root, take a couple hot passes, cap it out with the stick. This is gonna be a three inch stainless. I like to have a razor edge on mine though. It don't matter, I'm gonna use a wide gap, but it is a razor edge, you probably can't really tell, but matter, matter of fact, I'm gonna get a better, see that? It's a razor edge. But uh, it's that three inch stainless, schedule 80, carbon, schedule 80 carbon. I was so happy that it wasn't a, a monster coupon, because I wasn't, I'm not, I'm not feeling like taking them. Well, two monster coupons today. So I was glad that it was scheduled. We burn that up real quick. Knock it out. Get back. It's orientation. Finish this up. And uh, I guess we're going to be going out to the field. This is a uh, a natural gas plant. That's what, that's what they said. A natural gas plant. Let's see what we got top of the tank there. I'm not sure where we're going to be working at, but uh, you see the pipe rack over there. See the pipe rack over there. Got a few things going on. Just a few things going on. But yeah, this draft is 
community, man. I hope it don't, it don't cause too many issues. You know, just cut my argon up and another day in office. Oh, yeah. Test day. Uh, do I have nerves? No, not the more. Not the more. The test is just basically being in the field. That's how you need to look at it. If you've already been in the field and you're the type of welder that like to get nervous when it comes to test time, look at it as if it's just the weld that you're going to make in the field. And you should relax. Just relax. That's it. Relax. You got this. You know what you're doing. You practice. You train. You drill. You sweat it out. You froze when it was cold. You got wet when it was raining. Sand blew in your face certain parts of the country. So, yeah. Another day in office. Damn, that looks like what's in there. find out. Yeah, but this season, the season's starting to change, man. And my, my allergies are starting to kick my butt already. But, uh, yeah. So yeah, just keep in mind, the way you practice, same way you're gonna weld. You gotta get it, get in a groove where the way you practice is gonna be the way you weld. That's really important. That's really important to uh, consider. Thank you see, where is this guy at for real? This, is, this guy is crazy. We've been here since, Eight o'clock. QC just left. It's going on ten thirty. Hey, we get paid, so it's all good. But yeah, the way you practice is the way you go well. So you know what I'm saying to you. You know what I'm saying to you, right? Now, I ain't gotta say it again. You know I like to repeat myself, but it's all for the good. I guess we're just gonna hang out. Look at the camera over here. Let's see what we're doing. That boy ain't no good. <laughs> nah, that's my buddy. That's my buddy. Me and Kelvin been on the road. I met him in, a, uh, well, I met him in 2017 in Pennsylvania. We've been rolling since, but yeah, I'ma let y'all go. Just showing you how it is out here. Never know what to expect. What kind of situation you're gonna be in as far as testing. It is what it is. This particular test booth didn't have anything. Nothing at all. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna show you this real quick before I I'll let you go. So I brought everything of mine. Of course, my TIG rig. Oh, that right there. We'll talk about that later. Let's see what I got in here. That's my lunch, boy. You know I'm old school. No ice box. No lunch. No, no lunch box. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I got my little, my little doctor bag. Got everything you could imagine up in here. Tux and holder. Oh, I make these, so let me know if you want one. What is that, a nickel? I think it's a... Yeah, it's a nickel. This is a dime. No, it's a nickel, too. Oh, yeah. Extra this, extra that. Small things you might need. And you know I don't leave home without this. You already know what that is. Handy Plus, get you one of these. Get you one of these immediately. You can go on the website, mygoldenarm.com, and I already got you one. Let's see what I got in here. Of course, you need a few wrenches. Adjustable wrenches. Got my stinger. I got my favorite. Hydration during your test. 
very important, especially if it's hot. See, I got another adjustable or Stinger 332 cut wheel, lifesaver. Check out that video that I got uh, above this video title. But you're gonna, this is very important. If you get it, you get too much penetration or anything, you may need to remove a tag or anything. So, yeah. That's what I got going on. And of course, I brought my ground, my ground clamp. I can't talk this, this morning. <laughs> Lines, flashlight, this is what, 316, gap and wire. Yeah, so, and that's my grinder there. Usually bring on a job, to be honest, I mean. When I got the email from the uh, recruiter, they pretty much told us to bring everything. Some jobs don't want you to bring your own grinder, some jobs tell you, you know, just bring your sticker, hard hat, things of that nature but reading that email and that tool list it would just be like it was just like you know bring everything so I brought everything plus the kitchen sink so yeah that's gonna be it man so um oh yeah the way I like to set my I call it a stand my pipe stand for the test I like to go chest high. I like the top of my the top of my pipe to be right here. Okay, so we got the roots in. Let's see what let's see what it looks like. Let's see, my, let's see if I'm gonna have to uh, take you to the gate. All right. So we look at my final root. Then we're gonna go ahead and finish this stuff out. So let's look at it. If I can get a good shot. All right. I guess that's the best shot I'm gonna get. Uniform all the way around. That's right. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. So that's it right there. Get ready to go ahead and get it jumping. Finish it out. Move on to that stainless. And uh Follow I'll see y'all in the field. Bring it out. Yeah. All right. We gotta take a look at this. See what my man's got going on. Well, that look good, man. You just burned that thing in there quick, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. That's nice and smooth. good hey he did it that's All the right. man right there come on you want some of this I, I, I don't know he looked like hell no nah, no nah. <laughs> <laughs> Spot. Okay, that's the win. Yeah, they both look good. Yeah. 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 So what we gonna do? Because because the QC, he pretty much want us to go out and tack everything up. You can't really. That could have been a, a trap. You know, because you can't really the coupon once it's in place. So what we gonna do? Me and they want everything packed up and rooted, we're just going to pretty much connect them like that right there. Yeah. And then continue on with it. So again, what do you want is get everything rooted, and then he's going to come, and then we're going to go ahead and weld it on out. Okay. Yes, we're having a few minor complications, or it could be major, but I was fortunate that the argon just cut out on us. And I was just finishing up my second quarter, and um, 
it blew out right on the side of the wall. Man, I tell you, if that would have blew in my roof, oh, I'd have been hot. I'd have been like this pipe, real hot. But it blew out on the side, so that was good. We got three of us welded today. And uh, sometimes you can't really pay attention to your argon like you should. At least I have my earplugs in. But I did, I was able to kind of see the way the puddle was flowing and I figured, you know, the argon was getting low, but right in the nick of time, the argon just blew. Just, just pretty much poofed, empty. And it got me right on the side. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that 332 grinding disc and I'm gonna just feather it right out. I'm gonna fan it out, fan it out, feather it out until that indention is gone and any porosity holes is gone. But yeah, I was lucky that it didn't blow out on my, you know, mess my root up. That was just a stroke of luck right there because any other time it'd have been right in the center of your root. <laughs> and, you know, nobody likes to go back and grind out a root. Even though I got that technique up here on a YouTube channel showing you how to do it, it's pretty easy, but yeah, if you're not used to doing it, you're not comfortable doing it. And then a lot of times you cut too deep into your bevel and then next thing you know, you, you messed up. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and feather that out and show you what that looked like. Before I feather it completely, I want to actually show you what I was talking about when I said grind it, and then as you start to grind, you start to see holes appear. If you take a good look, you can see, you see those porosity holes there? That's exactly what I was talking about. As I started grinding, you didn't necessarily see those porosity holes, but again, as I got into it, those holes started to appear. So imagine if I would have just said, you know what, forget it. I want to get done with this test and just weld it over that. Being that it's not necessarily in the roof, I would have failed this x-ray test because the porosity holes are right pretty much deep down in to the bevel. And this is what you see here. So I'm going to continue to dig those out and I'll show you what it looks like. So we're back. After I went ahead and grinded that porosity out, I had to dig deep down in the pipe if you can see. That porosity was actually pretty deep down into the um, the wall of bevel, the wall of the bevel. So we got it all out, and I went ahead and went over the, the toe of my weld. I went ahead and went over the toe of my weld to make sure there was no porosity right there on my feather edge. And that's pretty good. All the porosity is gone. So if you just look back into the video and see what it looked like when we started and then check it out again. Oh, let's see, what is that? Oh. I think, yeah, that's it, we got it all out of there. But we'll definitely tell here in a minute. If I bust the test, you know what happened. But I doubt it, I doubt it, I doubt it. Let me get back to it. Finishing this root. Oh, the root look good. Let's see what it looks like. So we got so far. Good. That's the top quarter. Let's take a look at the bottom quarter. Let's see if I can get you a good angle. Uh, okay. bottom quarter you can see it bottom quarter Pretty much the last phase. That's my cap down there. 
Got the little three string cap for the TIG all the way out. And this is the uh, TIG three hot passes stick all the way out. So I'm pretty much finishing up my cap. And whenever you run your heat really good, it's burning in, not too hot, not too cold, that's what you'll get. Consistent heat all the way around. Come on that bracelet. Mm, that's hot. Nice clean thing. That's how it goes. I'm gonna finish up. I'm gonna catch y'all on the flip side. Yeah.